This section tests your ability to comprehend spoken English. It is divided into three parts, each with its own directions. You are not permitted to turn the page during the reading of the directions or to take notes at any time. Part A. Directions. Each item in this part consists of a brief conversation involving two speakers. Following each conversation, a third voice will ask a question. You will hear the conversations and questions only once, and they will not be written out. When you have heard each conversation and question, read the four answer choices and select the one, A, B, C, or D, that best answers the question based on what is directly stated or on what can be inferred. Then fill in the space on your answer sheet that matches the letter of the answer that you have selected. Now let's begin with the first conversation. Number one. Mark, why are you limping? Oh, I tripped over a loose pavement slab while walking to the store. What problem does Mark probably have? Number two. Have you finished editing the report? No. I had my colleague proofread it for me. What does the woman mean? Number three. Did you know Mark is a vegetarian now? Yes, he used to eat meat, but he switched to a plant-based diet. What does the man suggest about Mark's diet? Number 4. Have you noticed how much weight Mike has lost recently? Yeah, he's been hitting the gym regularly. He must be shedding those pounds. What does the man imply about Mike's weight loss? Number 5. Did you hear about the changes to the campus parking policy? Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. I feel like we're being squeezed for every penny. What are these speakers discussing? Number 6. Did you hear about the trip to Paris that Sarah is organizing? Yes, but unfortunately I'll have to pass. I have to focus on my internship this summer if I want to secure a job after graduation. What is the man's plan for the summer? Number 7. Remember to bring plenty of sunscreen and a hat. The forecast says it will be scorching at the festival. Don't worry, I'm packed and ready. I even brought my reusable water bottle to stay hydrated. Where are they most likely going? Number 8. I can't seem to get this printer to work. It keeps showing an error message. Have you tried turning it off and then on again? What does the man suggest?
Number 9. Did you hear about the bank robbery downtown? Yeah, I heard it was a real crime scene. They're still investigating. What is learned about the robbery? Number 10. Is this the right way to the park? I think so, but I'm not sure. The signpost is pointing in the opposite direction. What does the man mean? Number 11. I have a feeling something big is going to happen. You might be right. Let's keep our eyes peeled. What does the man suggest? Number 12. Is this the right train for the airport? No, this train is going downtown. You need to catch the express train on platform 3 for the airport. What can be inferred from this conversation? Number 13. That new restaurant downtown has the best sushi. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. What does the woman mean? Number 14. Have you tried the food at the new restaurant downtown? Oh, it was delicious, wasn't it? What does the woman mean? Number 15. The latest fashion trend is fabulous, don't you think? I'm not convinced. I find it quite unappealing. What does the man imply? Number 16. I'm having trouble sleeping lately. Have you tried drinking chamomile tea before bed? It might help you relax. What does the man suggest the woman do? Number 17. Hey, there's a concert in the park this Saturday. Would you like to come? That sounds awesome. I'll check my schedule and let you know. What will the woman most likely do? Number 18. Do you want me to pick up some groceries on my way home? No need. I already grabbed everything we need. What does the man mean?
Number 19. Are you able to attend the movie premiere tomorrow? If it weren't for my flu, I'd definitely be there. What does the woman's response indicate about attending the movie premiere? Number 20. What's the reason for Amy's excitement? She just got offered a job at her dream company. What does the man convey about Amy? Number 21. Why wasn't Lisa able to join us? She was preparing for an important job interview. What does the woman say about Lisa? Number 22. Did you know that Emily is going on a luxury vacation to Europe? But Emily is unemployed. What does the woman suggest about Emily? Number 23. Are you going to grab a towel or are you just going to sit there in the shade? I think I need to grab my sunglasses. Where does this conversation most likely occur? Number 24. Did the report get submitted on time? Yes, it did. It was reviewed by the manager. What does the woman suggest? Number 25. Do you know who is managing the restaurant now? I heard that Lisa took over from Mike as the restaurant manager. What does the woman convey about the restaurant? Number 26. Why was the meeting cancelled? They didn't have the necessary equipment for the presentation. What does the woman imply about the meeting? Number 27. Did you see Mary's new hairstyle? Oh, she did cut her hair. What did the man originally think? Number 28. I'll never have enough money for vacation. Why not set aside some money every month, 
little by little. What does the woman propose? Number 29. I don't believe that the new restaurant in town is worth trying. Neither do I. What does the man imply? Number 30. How do you feel about the new manager? Nobody is more qualified than he is. What does the man imply about the new manager? <laughs> 